Well, people from across York and Adams counties are fighting to save a medical fitness center, which is expected to close at the end of the month. Thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News at 10. I'm Amy Lutz. I'm Evan Forrester. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz explains the reason behind the closure and what's being done to try and keep the doors open. A group banding together to save a place, which means so much. Your heart just breaks and you go home crying because some of them, they don't know where they're going to go, what they're going to do. They're all members of UPMC Hanover's Medical Fitness Center, which has been housed inside the Hillside Medical Center in Penn Township for over 20 years. Some are still continuing rehabilitation. Some are... Um, have chronic issues, you know, lifelong issues that they're battling. UPMC is closing the facility on August 31st. The Health Network provided this statement to Fox 43, saying in part, quote, as patients needs change over time, UPMC is always evaluating how to best deliver specialty services within its communities. And discontinuing this service will allow us to devote more resources to advance patient care programs needed in Hanover. It's just sad that, um, UPMC cannot see what they're taking away. Members say this is really more than a fitness center. The medical supervision they get at this facility is what makes it so unique. They come in, they get their blood pressure taken, you know, they get their vitals taken, and they know they're safe in this environment. State Representative Dan Mal of Adams County tells Fox 43 he has heard from many people upset about the closure, and he personally hopes UPMC reverses its decision. This might be one of those times where they sit back and, and really analyze it and say, is it good for the community to close this? Let's not think of, are we making a profit as a nonprofit organization? UPMC is offering those impacted free memberships to the Hanover YMCA for the next couple months, but members say that environment doesn't provide the supervised care many depend on. I was just talking to a few people that said they've been to the gym and they don't feel safe there. They're hopeful another solution can be found. We have to find a way. I think it's unconscionable to leave these folks behind. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.